everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome back to more Guardians Crusade with me, where we left off previously with our granted permission from the King of Triskin. We were able to go past the little blockaded part of the wasteland and go eastward to a town called Garum. So we got here, we talked to the mayor, and basically just from what we've heard from a couple of the villagers as well, there was some kind of like landslide that went down, and there's a giant that is housed in some cave near here. So basically people seem really uncomfortable and uneasy in this town and I don't blame them. They're completely isolated from the rest of the world which seems kind of fucked up to me and I don't understand why the King of Triskin like just blocked that path. Unless of course humans are allowed to pass from the Garum side to the Triskin side, but I don't know. I'm assuming that the king was just a dick and isn't letting anyone go through. But anyway, so we made it to Garum, we did a little bit of exploring, and that's effectively all that happened in the last episode. So we're gonna continue looking around. Um, so yeah, and now I don't even know like where we are. I keep getting myself really mixed up. This whole town is just like, ah! But it's not too big, so there's really no excuse for me. And we searched the barrel. It's full of laundry detergent. I could wash a year's worth of clothing with that much detergent. And thinking about it, I actually need to do some more laundry. I don't mind doing laundry, but it's a pain in the ass, let me tell you to do mine and my husband's. So Anne's mom says, please let my daughter be alive. And on the last episode, we did get a glimpse into the fact that there is some shit going on with the little girl named Anne because she was in a cave with a giant and for whatever reason the mayor thought it would be a good idea to just block the whole thing off. But anyway, we checked the teddy bear and the honey says, hey, look what I found stuck to the teddy bear. And we got a rotten weed, great. More bullshit basically. The flowers are okay, but the base is really beautiful. And damn it, I'm so sick of getting bullshit. Okay. Well, that might be it for here. Uh, let's just keep checking houses, I guess. And let's see. Why not? Let's check this house too. I don't think we've been in here yet. But we're to the point where I... Oh my god, that's creepy. What? You'll chase these noins away from my house for me? Ha ha ha. Thanks, but no thanks. These noins are domesticated. We raise them for food? Ah, uh, interesting. Noins are a very important part of our village economy. Please, no more talk of chasing them away. I am a little disturbed, I have to say. Noi, noi, noi! Oh, there's something under the noin. Is, is that a hamburger? Great. I thought it laid an egg. I would rather it had laid an egg. I don't need this fucking burger, so I'm gonna feed it to baby. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> that's a little creepy. I don't know why anyone would wanna eat those weird marshmallow peeps looking motherfuckers, but I guess you gotta eat something in this world. And, oh my goodness. No, I don't think they would like it if you used it as a go-kart. Although that would be pretty fucking fun, I have to say. But okay. Guys, I think, I think that's it for the town as far as things we can check out. Uh, did we go into this house? I think we did. Uh, or just kidding, maybe we didn't. Is anyone even in here? Oh yeah, there's a guy right here. <laughs> Sorry buddy, I completely overlooked your gigantic house. Uh, we have enough people to fight off a giant. The problem is that the mayor is a coward and doesn't have a prayer now. So yeah, like that kind of furthers what I was saying earlier guys, that that little girl was just for whatever reason blockaded in with this giant just because the mayor doesn't want to deal with it. So I don't know, this town seems like it's kind of twisted and I don't know how I feel about it. But it is what it is. I feel sorry for Anne's mom. But I think that's it for us. Let's continue this way and see if we can check out the cave. Young man, excuse me, Sir Knight, please save my daughter. My poor girl has been attacked by a giant. Oh, please help her. A giant? Oh, come on now, honey. Everyone's been talking about this giant. The earthquake a few days ago caused part of the cliff here to fall into the ocean. It also opened up the entrance to a cave. I told her not to, but she went anyway. She was playing explorer. Playing Explorer? Yes, it's a game that Billy and Anne like to play to explore new places. They went into the cave, but only little Billy was able to run away from the giant in the cave. They sealed it in, but my Anne is still in there, my poor, poor Anne. That's awful. 
I snuck up here after the others left and unsealed the cave. I don't have much hope against the giant, though. But you, you look like a knight. I'm begging you, please save her. Of course we'll save her. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Please save my daughter, please. Yeah, I'm with his dad. Fuck the mayor. I would unseal that shit, too. Like, why would you do that? That's so ridiculous. I love how even the other villagers are like, yeah, our mayor's a douchebag. Like, we could all take on a fucking giant. And shit, I wonder if I should have, like, saved, but I don't know where the inn was, so whatever. Anyway, let's turn our shit around. But I'm really, like, thinking, guys, if I should run back off camera and try to sleep and save. But anyway, we got Sumo, which is a new living toy. So let's run down and check out the description, which body attacks all enemies. So again, since I have been like trying to put some effort into explaining how they work or if I've actually used them or not, Samoda is one of those living toys that I honestly never utilized very much on previous LPs. I'll try to bring him out because I've heard that he's actually pretty good. One of my friends that played this game as well, she always argued with me that I was really lame and not experimental with the living toys that I liked to make use of, which, you know, is true. But anyway, enough about that. That's Sumode. We will take a look at him just because my friend really likes him. I think it's Sumode that my friend likes. If not, oops, I guess I was not paying attention to you when you were telling me which living toys you value. And oh, is this the giant? So this is the scary giant, eh? All that fuss over a statue, those silly villagers. Now let's find Anne. Guys, like there's one room in here. Anne, Anne, we've come to find you, Anne, where are you? Oh shit, Ruval, gah, gah. What the? It's moving, it's alive. Oh geez. I guess we should not have been too cocky. But yeah, anyway, guys, this is why I was saying, fuck, I wonder if I should go ahead and save. But I think we'll be okay. Um, I am just going to start out by putting Tough Wall on Baby. So that will be one, <laughs> one less problem for me to deal with and have to even worry about. So yeah, we'll get Tough Wall out. You guys already know I got to get Contributor. But yeah, as you can see, shit. The problem is that I did not heal myself. I'm gonna get Clarity for night as well. And I am really low on psychic points, so maybe I shouldn't have been so casual with my fucking burgers because they would be a bit useful right now. But it's fine. As long as Clarity doesn't get hit, I should be able to get my health up. Tough Wall will consume, well, now one more attack against Baby. And what did I say I was going to do? I was going to get sumoed for you, didn't I say that? Body attacks all enemies. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it right now. I, I just would rather not die if that's at all possible. So we will try to take out this giant, which shouldn't be an issue. I don't remember this being too challenging of a fight, so... And oh no, I'm out of tea. I will definitely have to make some when we next get a break. And oh my god, this thing is like fucking with me so hard. Okay. Do I have... No, nothing. Rotten weed makes one confused. I wonder if it'll work. If not, who cares? Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> I thought I would try. But do you guys see how much damage fucking Contributor does? He's just fucking this thing up. And wait, I think tuffle has gone, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Okay, this is no longer sustainable. I'm gonna... Shit! Uh... Let me see. I might just do... Nurse on myself, because I don't want to die. <gasps> and oh no! clarice has gone. So I'm glad I opted to heal Knight. Dying here would not have been fun. <laughs> it would not have been fun at all. But okay, that should be enough to wear. Oh no, Tough Wall is still there. Clarice is the one that's gone. And. Alright, Tough Wall's gone now. Oh my god, and Contributor, no! Aw, oh, Ruval, why? Will you please just die? This is what I get for not just resting at the end. Okay, I'll attack him once more, and then I'm going to. 
Oh, please die. Oh, yes! We did it! We killed him! But I didn't have to use any items. Well, I guess I used that stupid terror seed, but I wasn't going to use it outside of this fight anyway. I've been, like, selling them or just dropping them. Aw, but poor Ruva. So Anne says, stop it, stop it, you're killing him. Stop hurting my friend. What? Did she say friend? Please, leave Ruval alone. But he's holding you prisoner. Your father is extremely worried. Ruval isn't keeping me here. He only tried to help me. Then why haven't you gone home? Everybody is worried sick, you stupid little bitch. I couldn't get out. They sealed off the entrance. True. They were afraid that he would attack the village. There's no they. The stupid mayor was the one who opted to do that. Ruval would never do that. Would you, Ruval? Gah! <laughs> he understands what you say? Yes. No, I mean, he understands what I'm saying with my heart. All right, that's a weird conversation. Please don't hurt Ruval anymore. Ruval, what do you have to say? Oh, God, get out of my way, Anne. I want to talk to Ruval. Gah! Okay, well, Ruval is, um, he is not really a talkative person, so we're going to head out. Oh, shit. What's this all about? So Gwynladen says, we found him, Lord Kalkanor. And yes, I'm saying his name right now, guys. No longer Gwendolyn, it is Gwynladen. But Kalkanor chimes in, so the rumors were true. Let's do it, Ramal, Gwynladen, go. Yes, master. Oh, no. Guys, you can't do this. Stop. Wait, this giant isn't, Ruval isn't bad. Or isn't a bad. Sorry about this. Sorry about what? Oh my god, I can't move. Not that you do anything anyway, Nahani. Come, loop, sneak. Gwynladen, Ruval is all yours. You can count on me, Lord Kalkanor. Oh no, don't kill him. No, you assholes, why? Oh my god. They're gonna hurt him. Oh my gosh, no. And it's partially our fault because we already damaged him. And I feel so bad, like, we've definitely caused a lot of problems for a lot of creatures in this world. Black Sphere. That attack looks really cool, though. No, Ruval, no! Oh my gosh. I'm like really nervous for Ruval. I wish we could like stop them. And what the fuck happened to Anne? Is she just like standing here and witnessing all of this? Oh my god. And alright video game, we get it. Although it is a really nice touch that we actually get to see the fight itself instead of it just being like outside of battle. Oh no, he's gone. No! Well, hopefully they didn't actually kill him and they just Kind of knocked him out. This is the last of the gems. Let's make haste to the tower. Kids, someday you'll understand. What? No, fuck you. What? That's impossible. My spell should have paralyzed you. Oh, no. I don't know what we're trying to accomplish. They already, like, fucked up Ruval and are leaving. But anyway, guys, this is another one of those fights where... I mean, you can't really win, so don't waste your items, don't waste your shit, just let him kill you. It's the same situation that we ran into with Darkbeat and Ibki back in Istin. You have to lose this fight, which really does suck, but you saw he does like 400 damage for one attack. It's impossible to win. So <laughs> don't even kid yourselves, just let Kalkanor make short work of you so you can hurry up and be where you need to be. Now I'm legitimately wondering if we have died during this LP outside of like a required defeat. I'm not sure if we have. You fight as a noble warrior. I honor that. We need these stones to be prepared for world peace. Lord Kalkanor, we must hurry to God's Tower. Yes, let's go. Our grand mission is almost to an end. God, I don't know anything about your grand mission and I don't care. You say you're doing it for world peace, but you're harming the innocent. You're nothing but a pack of murderers. We are not murderers. We're doing what we have to do to stop Carmine and the Artima cult from turning the world into a monster-infested hell. Whatever you guys have to say to sleep at night, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. Poor old Ruval, why did they have to do that? 
Gah! Oh, but Ruval's alive. He just got the shit kicked out of him. But anyway, we are done here. So I guess let's go back. How's our health anyway? Yeah, one HP for both of us. We definitely need to find an inn and <laughs> sleep and save. So, okay, let's rush back. But at least Ruval's alive, you know. They... Well, they didn't. We killed that white lion back in Kerpel. Wait, was it Kerpel? I don't even remember. Is it true? Is it really true? I, no, Kerpel is where we fought Uganga. Where did we kill the white lion? I think it was the Koldo ruins. I heard that the brave knight from Triskin killed the giant. That's great. They saved my daughter. I have to go check that she's okay. Bye. Ugh. God, you guys are so lame. Okay. Well, hmm. Well, maybe, guys, we should... I don't know. What should we do? Do we want to see how the dad and the mom... Not the dad and the mom. The dad and the daughter are making it. Uh, I think they're fine, but let's talk to them anyway. Small wonder that Lord Kalkanor is famous throughout Triskin. He saved Anne in no time flat. Er, of course, you helped, too. I better get home and tell my wife the good news. Anne, let's go. Okay, yeah, so we did just need to check up on them. I probably should have talked to Anne first. And you know what? Just because I'm lame and I'm legitimately distressed that uh, a poor white lion got fucked. But the white lion could talk. Ruval? Yeah, Ruval's still alive. He's not dead. So, he's probably never leaving his cave again, like, now that he's seen what assholes humans are. But, that's how it goes. So, we fucked up this big stone thing. The stone giant. We fucked up the... Wait, aren't you the dad? Some, oh, yeah, you are. You saved Anne, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we need to find... An inn, guys. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so this may take me a second of walking around. Hey, who the hell are you? Did you hear? Lord Kalkanor killed the evil giant and saved Anne. I'm going to go ask her right now if she wants to play with me again. Maybe we'll find another monster. You still want to play Explorer after all that trouble? Yeah, no kidding. Well, I'm glad to see the giant gone. Now we can get back to our normal lives without having to worry about horrible giants eating our children. And guys, he was not a horrible giant. He was just... Oh, here's the hotel. I just had to run around a... Wait a minute, guys. Okay. I don't know if it was just me. Did that look like cock and balls to you? I... Maybe not quite, but... Uh, okay, where is he? Can I use stare? Yes, I can. Okay. That definitely looks a little bit like a dick and balls. If you don't see it... Then I guess that makes me a fucking pervert. I don't know. But anyway, let's not waste any more time. Since we are pretty close to being up, we're going to go ahead and talk to the innkeeper who says you can stay for free tonight because we're celebrating Kalkanor's victory over the giant. Do you want a room? Hell yes, bitch. It's a little cramped up there, but I keep it nice and warm. So guys, we will go ahead and save and call this an episode. So when we come back together, I guess we'll talk to the villagers. We'll go and we'll catch up with the mayor and see what he has to say. And then I guess we're done with this place. And now our next destination should be Denvrado and potentially, hopefully, God's Tower. And it seems like Kalkanor, Gwynladin, and Ramal are headed that way as well. So we really need to get it together and, like, cut them off because they are fucking everything up and we've got to stop it. So anyway, I'm your host, Rabbit. This is my playthrough of Guardians Crusade. And I will see you in just a moment on the next episode.